lot, Geek fans. It's time for another short, and this short is going to be a Shane's read. Now, what did Shane read? Do, 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 do. Oh, Batman, Volume 2, The City of Owls. As always, the Jacob gave me The City of Owls. You will have to know that this is actually a sequel because there was a part one. I did read the part one. I was, I was medium on part one. I was like, eh, whatever. <laughs> now we're reading part two. Can you tell me a little bit about part two? All right, so in part one, it ends on a cliffhanger. The owls are about to take over the city. So they're going to Bruce Wayne's house, all this stuff. And then Batman comes out, and he's like, I'm not going to deal with your shit. No, <laughs> so I'm not then, taking that. I'm not taking that. And then so, so some crazy stuff happens along the way. So how about you tell me what you felt about it? This was a little better than the first one. So I'm a little bit, a little bit more of the medium. You, you tease this. Yes. Right. I bitch a lot about uh, some of the comic book tropes. And I don't like how Batman is just in spandex. It makes no sense to me. But guess what, people? He actually dons some armor and does some ass kicking yes. in the Batcave. And I really like the scene in the Batcave. Not just because of the armor, right? So the armor was cool. I'm like, yes, oh, yes, he gave me the <laughs> armor. Awesome, so cool. But like, so he's fighting a bunch of these owl dudes because they're taking over the city. And then suddenly he says something like, uh, uh, Fido begin or something like initiate Fido sequence. Yeah. And there's this, we've seen it. We see it the whole time in the first, uh, the first volume. He has this like giant T Rex statue, yep. and we're like, oh, that's just cool. He's he's a, he's he's a billionaire. He can do what he wants, right? He's like a T Rex statue. Cool, whatever. <laughs> initiate Fido sequence, and the T Rex comes to life. <laughs> it's so random and bizarre, and that's what I like. See, we've talked about this before. I don't like it when comic books embrace their bizarreness. Yeah. And I love, like, there's T-Rex. We've got a T-Rex fighting now. Yeah. All right. Why Why not have the T-Rex fighting? So I like the T-Rex fighting. Um, we already got over the, the stupid, stubborn Bruce Wayne, which pissed me off in the yeah. first one. The first one, no, there's no Court of Owls. No, you're wrong because <laughs> I know everything. Oh, God, please. Come on. There's the Court of Owls. No, it says it right on the cover, dude. Right on the cover <laughs> of your you, story, you man. Read your own book. Yeah, read your own book, dude. But, okay, we're over that. So now Batman's kicking ass. He's taking names. And eventually, he actually gets, he stops the Court of Owls. And then, now this is, this is an ongoing, like, Regular series? Um, yeah. Okay, because, because it looks like there's like another story introduced here towards the end. They got Mr. Freeze, yeah. right? And I thought, I thought Mr. Freeze was a, a, an interesting character uh, they added at the end. But let's, before we talk about Mr. Freeze, uh, there's also like the twist. There was some guy, I forget, the running for mayor. He ends up becoming a bad guy. I really wasn't that surprised. <laughs> but whatever. That's not that big of a deal. And and now and now shenanigans ensue and they're fighting and Batman's Batman's doing his whole detective thing and I don't read comic books you know, before before this segment began you know a few months ago when we started doing this segment I hadn't read a comic book since eighth grade so and all the comic books we've read so far are self-contained yeah this was this showed me how they do an ongoing story because I'm like. I was thinking about, like, how do you, what do they do with comic books to make it keep going if you have an issue to issue? So they have this, this thing about the, the, the owls, and it's like it's a complete story, right? They have the beginning, the middle, the beginning, oh, stuff is happening, I don't know what's going on. There's no Court of Owls. All right, whatever. Right, the middle, oh, wait, you're, you're right, there is a Court of Owls. And then the <laughs> end, fuck you, Court of Owls, you're yeah. done, right? But... They, they, they start putting these other story threads in there with the yeah. Mr. Freeze thing. Yeah, yeah I was, I was going to ask you, how did you like the extra stories at the end here? I enjoyed it. I, I yeah. thought it was a clever... W now, they didn't really go anywhere with it because yeah. it's, it's an ongoing thing. Yeah. But I liked the, 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 the taste they gave me Mr. Freeze. And then I liked the, um, the twist at the end. Because, because uh, Batman's telling Mr. Freeze, like, oh, you're crazy, you don't actually know this person, blah, 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 this isn't your wife or whatever, but no, that's not who ever it was. Yeah. And then they find out it's, it's his, his mother. Yeah. Right, it's his mother. And they, and they show it earlier on, like his mom dying or something. I, I, I don't remember exactly. I th yeah, I felt that was a really cool twist on the Mr. Freeze story because uh, usually it's his wife. Oh, that, it's, that's you? In the, usually. Yeah, yeah and he, he's not crazy. Like He actually like is trying to cure his wife in the... Like uh, she, she's uh, she's frozen. Like due to one one of his uh, experiments, and she, he's trying to unfreeze her. Oh, okay. And then in this one, 
he's he is a little bit crazy. Yeah, he he's not quite right in the yeah. head. The freezing thing is has messed him up. Yeah, but then they added that cool twist at the end. Yeah, and it was him that did it. Yeah, he's the one throw he threw who threw her in the ice. Yeah, uh, and maybe because he wanted to actually fix her because yeah. something happened to her. Uh, she had some accident or something. Yeah, so, something I, happened. I forget. Remember, some accident happened, and now she's not the same mother that she used to was. Now she's she's brain damaged or whatever. So overall, I'm going to give this a a little bit better than a medium. Yeah, so okay. medium plus. We're going to give it medium plus. <laughs> the last one we gave medium. Uh, this was a little better because I felt it, it was a little more comic booky. I mean, Mr. Freeze is just ridiculous. I mean, he's spewing he's spewing frozen. I don't even know what the hell he's spewing. <laughs> These guys are in football mask. It doesn't make any sense, right? Uh, <laughs> I appreciate the, the embracing the absurdity a, a little bit more. Uh, what did you like about that shakeup? I yeah, I really loved this uh, th- this comic. It's a great continuation from the first one, and. What I loved about this was when he was actually fighting the Court of Owls, and there's there's that scene where he's in the back car and he like, ru- he like hits one of them, and Alfred's like, "What what are you doing? You don't, you don't kill people." He's like, "Oh no, they're 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 enhanced. I get to, I uh, I get to have a little fun now." Oh yeah, because yeah, they can he- they they like Wolverine. They like a healing factor or something. Yeah, he's like, "I can play rough. <laughs> so, <laughs> I can play rough." And th- th- that was really cool. And then th- there's a, there's a huge twist, not just in the. Uh, in the Mr. Freeze storyline, but in the main story, there's a big twist. Won't give it away, but it's it, it's a really good good book. I recommend you pick it up. And we're, we're actually we're, we're going to read more of Batman later on. Now, um, but I do have a comic to recommend you for next week. Ooh, so, for next week, what is yeah, that? This is comic. Ooh, it's right, oh, right there. How convenient! Conveniently, so convenient. right here. It's <sighs> Captain America: The Winter Soldier. Ooh. So, yeah, stick around for that next I, week. I've heard of that before. I'm not yeah. sure where. Yeah, I don't know where. Where? Anyway, so well, I'm going to be reading the Captain America, the Winter Soldier, which looks like kind of an epic. Oh, an epic. And I will get back to you, but I'm Shane Gurich. This is Jacob Desitels, and we've been Geeks at the Movies. <laughs>